It's the 20th of July, 2023. I'm Dana. You are you. And how are you? <clears throat> you can text or call in or send up smoke singles at 709 589 4406. 709. That's right. 709 No O's. <clears throat> you know, I was just thinking whenever I played a song, I should have a, the fireworks going off. Not like I can't do it. <laughs> it. Just never occurred to me before. What's the sadistic, demonic, twisted nuclear industry up to today? You might ask. Well, we'll get to that. We got a poll to cover first. Go easy on me. I just started. <clears throat> Should the nuclear power be banned for fake and Fukushima and nuclear reactors three and four fuel pools? It's an excellent idea, Mr. Dana. It's an excellent idea. <sighs> Uh, consider liking, subscribing, stuff like that. You know, the cool shit. So why are they pretending they're in a building that don't exist? They don't have to vote Reactor 3 and 4. Let's just play Reactor Plan 4. Plan standing is on top of what used to be Reactor Liar. Building number 4. The whole of this building was blown apart by a huge explosion. We are here inside Reactor 4 at the Fukushima Mom, Daiichi CNN's nuclear lying. power plant that was severely crippled during the earthquake and tsunami of 2011. Of the decommissioning work Set taking place Senator here in Reactor is he 4. Lying. At the end of our tour, we were checked for radiation exposure. In four hours, I received the equivalent of less than a chest x-ray. 1,500 highly radioactive fuel rods inside this pool. They've got to move them outside of this reactor. <clears throat> You can't talk like that with a mask on, by the way. So, because they're fake and being in there, I think they're up to something no good. I'm not sure. I'm guesstimating that they're up to something no good. So, therefore, I think nuclear power should be banned for faking the reactor four and three fuel pools of Fukushima. Excuse me, you might have kissed the sky. So the buildings you see are not as tall as this part of Reactor 1's Kevlar sarcophagus. So you, the part you can't see below is this part right here. And that part is actually bigger than 3 and 4 on top of each other. And the fuel pools are at the top of the building, so therefore there is no fuel pools at the top of a building that doesn't exist anymore. Does that make sense? Am I, am I being negative? Danny, you're being negative. Nuclear industry needs a break. The sadistic, twisted little demons need a break, Dana. Yeah, well, if you give them a break, you got to give everybody a break, right? So... I don't think we should give them a break. Nuclear. How much money do they go through a year? A trillion dollars worldwide or something? Just for the militaries? Anyway, I can't reconcile why they're faking being in the fuel pool because it must be pretty bad if you're faking being in the fuel pool is all I can say. But now, as of um, a few weeks ago, the news story is even stranger. So it's no longer mentioning Reactor three, 4 or the ghost of Reactor 3 or 4. They're completely gone. So you're talking 20 million pounds or something. Now, the news official story, it's been everywhere for a number of weeks, but now it's basically disappeared. 
but they just keep mentioning the word tritium over and over. So now officially 2.2 grams got out of reactor 3 and 4 and 1 and 2. So these radioactive plumes covering the planet in 19 days, we're not allowed to show that no more. The official story from International Atomic Energy Agency and the nuclear industries and every nuclear university and every media worldwide is only 2.2 grams got out. But don't worry, they got the 2.2 grams locked down in 1,000 tanks. So that's quite a relief. Thank goodness. They're all over it. Japan's nuclear wastewater discharge plan provokes worldwide protest. So this is the tritium, right? They're, they artificially created these protests by saying, oh my God, they're going to dump the tritium into the ocean. They've done this before, by the way. Oh, indeed they have, naughty little demons. Bear with me, I could probably show it to you. Oh, there it is. Wow. So they created this big firestorm. The video picture to the left, he said, was the radioactive fallout, the Pacific Ocean. And then years later, they came out and said, oh, no, it's the tsunami, stupid. That's NOAA's actual radioactive emissions into the ocean to the right. France emissions after 16 days cover the planet, the entire planet. <clears throat> the entire planet in just 16 days. So when they're telling you there's only 2.2 grams, you should be concerned, really, really concerned, and you're not. If, um, if you've been paying attention or believe in the universities and the medias, I mean, Dana, that's the universities and media. You don't expect us to believe you, which is true. Obviously, they're Bad in the fuel pool on top of the building. So the big question is, why are they saying that? Because the radioactive fallout has been so harmful to the entire planet. Uh, the International Atomic Energy Agency's role is to analyze and confirm data provided by the criminals, not directly collect independent samples themselves and verify them. That's just your story. Another story you may want to think about is there's 105,000 sites stuffed with one ton bags millions and millions and millions you can't you can't count it in your lifetime bags now if you think i'm wrong go down and write on these bags every one of them dana is wrong dana is scaremongering on all of these bags the international atomic energy agency said this year about the bags that public trust is the key to projects using the radioactive soil from the nuclear wasteland. And what you're looking at is uh, some of the 14 million one-ton bags are going to cut out in a no-go zone surrounded by a nuclear wasteland, which is a no-go zone, and uh, nuclear wasteland prefectures, so there's 14 in total for sure, and they're going to grow food in it instead of storing it for a million years, you know, because the International Atomic Energy Agency is not a regulator, like they said in that earlier um, media, and therefore not in a position to judge or approve Japan's soil recycling project, which is probably why they're growing food right alongside the one-ton bags in the nuclear wasteland to murder your loved ones with. This is a very special night said it's a twisted little demon, Raphael Grossi. Uh, remember Jung, he said there is no nuclear meltdowns, and he wasn't kidding. Now there's officially no nuclear meltdowns. So NASA, 
Oh, Nasta, you wicked little sadistic demon. They got a $27 billion budget. Includes the Martian moon. How come they didn't take this to the moon in all those decades? All those billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars. Huh? They can do everything with nuclear except everything with nuclear. And people get confused. You think it's this big equation and it's too hard to figure out. And it's, it's too complicated. But it's actually not. It's just evil multiply it by infinity and you got nuclear. A 7% increase over the current of disgusting, useless country breaking funding. We should get rid of NASA, man. It's just, it's so pathetic. What did E equals MC squared? Oh, yeah, like, Einstein said if you hadn't known the Germans couldn't produce a weapon, he would have never done anything. He would have never produced the E equal MC square. 2.5 billion for space launch systems. I'm sick of them. They spent a fortune for the last 40, almost 50 years and never went to the moon. They, went, they allegedly went to Mars and Jupiter and Saturn way, 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 way far away. But they couldn't go to the moon again. Because most people can afford a um, telescope that can see the moon these days, right? But back then, they, they didn't have that. But nobody's got a micro, uh, telescope that can see if they're on Mars. I, I doubt if they went to Mars. 110 million for development of a nuclear thermal pol propulsion. Like, you can't build anything nuclear for 110 million. It's actually an insult to the nuclear industry. They'll burn that on tips at Starbucks and Tim Hortons. Scumbag floor, it's just been around forever. This right from the beginning of nuclear, this disgusting company's been around. Got another $5.87 billion. 95% of it goes to administration, which is profits and more employees. Here's the Department of Energy, which is what kind of betrayal. How, like if I was asked to describe what kind of colossal fuck up US Department of Energy actually is, you're talking about a nine, 10 hour show with just the stuff we covered. It's colossal, right? To manage the decontamination, decommissioning of the Portsmouth Gases Diffusion Plant. Yeah, well, it's about time after 60, 70 years of emissions to, to manage that, I would say. Re uh, remediation of contaminated soil and groundwater because they contaminated it for the last 70 years. Yeah, we're finished. Now we're, we need a lot more money for 150,000 years to clean it up because we're nuclear. What a disgusting story this is. What a despicable... And this is why I showed you the tritium fable just now. It's because this is the new official story. And this will crack you up. So when I see, I said, well, this headline's been around for a few weeks. We've covered it several times. I wasn't even going to read it because I've covered it so many times. So, hey, you never know what else they got thrown in. It's the machini, right? From Japan, major media. Probably ain't good. Cesium-180 times limit found in fish at Fukushima, which is 18,000 becquels a kilogram. These are catastrophic number in the isotopes we're talking about are catastrophic too at uh, just a couple a Fukushima nuke plant 12 years after the disaster and so you say what the hell am I looking at because you, you recognize the barriers right that it's an iconic uh, piece of cement when you think about Japan's uh, breakwater 
And I said, well, what am I looking at? Because does anybody remember me showing this picture before? I sure don't. So this is important. And it says, this is the K drainage, the K drainage outlet. You got to appreciate how big these are, then you can actually appreciate the volume of water you're looking at. These things are massive. They do that so the water looks like a small amount. The two outlets on the right, imagine if those things were going full steam. Like imagine if these things were full of water. <clears throat> so the idea is you put these big ones there and then the water looks like it's a small amount. I mean, this is the reason they're pretending they're in the buildings that don't exist anymore. So this is the two outlets on the right are the B drainage and C drainage. And the big mass of cement one is the K drainage. So here we go. You like a, just, this is pretty, when it comes to scumbaggery, this is pretty impressive, uh, this story. The cesium, the cesium, come out and play. In the black rockfish caught in May measured 18,000 beckles per kilogram. The legal limit for f the legal limit, like, like they actually got a limit, they actually check. They only mention the word cesium. Under the Food Sanitation Act, the Food Sanitation was originally 500 beckles per kilogram of gamma. A year later, they dropped it because they had an extra 865,000 cancers in the first year compared to any other year. A spike, if you will. Not everybody got health care. Not everybody's diagnosed. The fish were captured inside the inner breakwater close to the number one to the number four reactors where decommissioning work continues. And when it rains, rainwater streams into the K drain each one of several drain pipes at the plant, several hundred, after running through debris, <laughs> after running through debris, well, the debris they're talking about is nuclear, by the way, and over the ground, both contaminated with radioactive substances, both the ground and the debris. It is then discharged into the station's small port. They conveniently don't show you, so hang on, I'll find you a picture. These are sadistic, the nuclear industry number but sadistic animals. They just, they wreck the entire planet for a paycheck each. They'll kill to protect the nuclear industry. There's no other industry that has a death cult like this. Hang on. What the hell did I get done with that? Oh, let's see. Gotcha. I just got to find a picture that does it justice. Nuclear industry is insane. Lord, I got so many, I can't find one. <laughs> it's true. I got the whole collection that they released, but I just... Here, that would probably do us. How come you don't show us a picture of a thousand tanks, by the way? So you see the water up there? That, that wharf is what they call their port. Hang on here. So that there is what they're calling their port. And they're claiming they got a net up there and so the fish can't get out. So shut up, Dana, you fear monger. So they built this scam on the reactor four. Reactor four is completely gone, as I showed you earlier. And you can see reactor three is the same height. There, there is no fuel pool. All right, don't worry. I'm not gonna tell you 500 more times this month. Claims confirms that the cesium levels, cesium again, claiming there's only cesium. 
in the discharge rainwater, rainwater below the criteria of 60 becquels per liter for cesium-134 and 90 becquels for cesium-137 liters. These, got, these people are insane. So compared with other drainages at the plant, runoff with higher concentrations of radioactive material has been discharged within the inner breakwater. And that the seabed sediment in the area was found to contain cesium-137 up to 130,000 becquels a kilogram. Oh, I'm sorry. And cesium at 34,000 becquels plus as of January this year. Well, the biggest byproduct of the radiated fuel rod is the curium isotope. And the curium isotope, you need lead shielding 20 times thicker than you do for plutonium which is probably 100 times thicker than it is for cesium. Cesium's real, though, but it's not your biggest concern. Curium, that's what he called the reactor meltdown, the curium, because the majority of the isotopes being produced now are curium, which is tr true before it melts down, by the way. Once it comes out of the chain reaction, it's, it's, still, it's still in a chain reaction. It's just not under pressure and temperature anymore. They put it in the water because it's still splitting the atoms. And the atoms are released through evaporation. So per liter, it's trillions. All nuclear power plants are doing that, every one of them. And each building has two fuel pools. A typical public relation official suggests the high levels of cesium detected in the rockfish is partially attributed it to water discharge from the K drainage and the sediment inside the breakwater. I said, well, wow, what the hell is going on here? They're, they're, they're being honest? No, 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 Dana. Silly, silly Dana. Netting has been installed across the port's entrance, fishing nets. One of the measures prevent the fish from getting out. You're going to like this. Doesn't get any more sadistic and twisted than what's coming next. Nets were set up within the inner breakwater, and TEPCO did not conduct periodic, period, I can't even pronounce that. I don't know what the hell is going on now. Checks of the radioactive substances concentrations in fish inhabiting the breakwater for about six years. So TEPCO didn't check the fish any time in the last six years because they have a net there to stop any fish from getting out, Dana. Wow. Well, that makes sense. Thank goodness. TEPCO should have been uh, um, should have been bankrupted, but you can't bankrupt it during the stock exchange. So they we, we got nationalized, which is the Japanese government itself. After heavy contaminated fish was found off Fukushima Prefecture, apparently after it got away from the plant's port, so the new official story is the radioactive fish that they're finding are the ones that got out of the port. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. After it got away from the plant's port. When I read that, I, was, I blew up laughing, really. But it's not funny because they're serious. Of the 44 fish, three caught within the area were found to be tainted, tainted with radioactive material exceeding 1,000 becquels per kilogram. And a black rock fish is 1,700 becquels per kilogram. Was detected it and an eel. Bear with me. I gotta do the setup here for it's coming, right? There, there, is, there is a lot of people worldwide that are just, bless their hearts, naive, and are gullible. They're basically useless because they're supposed to be the checks and balances, not me and you. All of us are supposed to be. So the only reason there's any fish in the, in the ocean that are radioactive is because you got it at the port. Because nothing else got out of Fukushima, not even the millions 
and millions and millions and millions of one-ton bags. None of that got out. That officially never happened. So stop your fear mongering. And look how gullible people can be. To go stand up there. Yeah, excuse me, my apologies. Slurping. Growing food alongside of one ton bags of radiation and then demonizing you if you ask him to stop it. A total of three black rockfish that apparently escaped the port, escaped the port, were found more than 10 kilometers away from Fukushima. <laughs> Can you believe this story? Explain these bags to me, then, you crazy. The three black rockfish that apparently escaped the port have been caught more than 10 kilometers from the nuclear plant. They escaped, Dana. That's why there was fish found with high levels of radiation. They, they came from the port, Dana. We urge the TEPCO take thorough measures to prevent radioactive material from getting in the ocean. Even within the port, the Federal Fisheries official urged. They're, I'll give them credit, they're, they're exceptionally evil. If you start putting these people in jail, you have to let everybody else out because there's so many of these scumbags. Unless fundamental measures are taken to lower the concentration from the K-drainage, fish surpassing the maximum will likely keep being found. Even a step goes stepped up, me stepped up measures prevent fish from getting away. They're getting away, Dana. That's why you're finding fish with radiation. They all come from that little port. Sheesh. What are you, stupid, Dana? The company says it aims to get the season concentrations within the inner breakwater below one beckwell per liter. But don't worry, unlike cesium, tritium doesn't concentrate in fish, even if they ingest it. According to the data, the associate professor, what I said, oh, gee, a professor said it, uh, that's about as reliable as a crackhead asking for your car keys that you never met before. Experimental results have shown that if treated water is put into the regular seawater, the concentration of tritium is reduced. Dana, we need to consider tritium separate from cesium. And look, they're even bragging about it. And I, uh, Fukushima Bureau is <laughs> in the story. I think all the police in Japan should be arrested for not holding these disgusting weirdos accountable. Fukushima Bureau. Oh, Fukushima Bureau. We're so evil, we don't even know what human is anymore. Save the Pacific Ocean, you're way too late, unfortunately. Okay, so that's quite a doozy that uh, the official, I've never seen these drainage before. But it's an interesting, so just hang on for goodness sakes. <laughs> See, how do you even respond to such a big lie? Well, actually, I know. Hang on. It burns me that I got to do stuff like this. Let's see. Crazies. This is kind of a little tricky, actually.
I don't even know where to start anymore. I guess we can start anywhere, right? Let's start here. I just want to challenge that crazy assertion that nothing got out and the only radioactive fish came from the port itself that this never happened. Now, officially, that has never happened. Okay. So, a million beckles a square meter in North America. Nuclear industry tries to bury the truth. They've done, they done a pretty good job. 20 million particles per liter, 5,500 miles away. But there's nothing at the ground zero. They couldn't get into the control rooms for seven years that are separate from the reactors, but nothing got in to the port, into the ocean. Now, West Coast, 220 million atoms per liter of iodine-129. There was 865,000 extra cancers in the first year. Let's try to move on. That's... Um, It's a crazy story. United States and South Korea issue a warning to North Korea. Nor North Korea for, for 120 years has been a prisoner. It was a prisoner for 50 years of Japan until 1945. It was, it was occupied. And then it has been ostracized and land, sea, and air embargoes for the last 70 years. So they haven't attacked anybody in 120 years after Japan was chased out of there with Nagasaki, Hiroshima. North Korea tried to fight for its freedom with scumbag South Korea. And so United Nations, who was just created, but actually existed for a long time before that as the League of Nations, changed their name. Like Sellafield used to be called Windscale. But when he poisoned the whole country, they changed it to Sellafield to hide the crimes of what he had actually done. And so North Korea, uh, United Nations, 70 years ago, 1950, went there and detonated more munitions than all of World War I and used napalm on every village, community, and city, razzed everything to the ground, and then has ostracized them from humanity for 70 years with no end in sight. Nobody's allowed to do anything. Name another spot on the planet that has those particular attributes. But remember, United Nations killed millions of civilians, wounded millions of North Korean civilians. They attacked the civilians, not the military. High water temperatures expected to affect the French nuclear plants. Oh yeah, no, it's worse than that. It's France can't keep up with it. Like, their reactors are old and decrepit. Oh, we're going to build six nuclear reactors. You better get started. Like, they, they say this, but they don't, we don't see any infrastructure. We don't see breaking any ground. We don't see the supply net, networks putting out um, contracts for bids. We don't see the manpower jacking up. We don't see the the monetary being allocated for it. International organizations, prevalence of disinformation as Japan fighting back. That's going to be one of the strangest statements I've ever heard, actually. Prevalence of disinformation has Japan fighting back. So why are you showing us a picture of Grossi, you know, uh, UN's little idiot machine? Here's the South Korea disinformation from South Korea that they're, they're not going to complain about. This is a professor, of course, from South Korea. They're the first ones to cut your throat on the planet as a professor. Not in real, they gotta, they'll do it with a stroke of a pen because they're cowards, right? And, and they got that job because they're cowards. The discharge from multiple nuclear meltdowns, detonations, is equal to three cubes of sugar. 
three cubes of sugar. So when you got the world media saying stuff like that, it takes a lot of nerve to come out and say international organization, prevalence of disinformation has Japan fighting back. At around noon, June 22nd, disinformation response team established last year by the foreign ministry addressed spurious information disseminated on YouTube. Now, officially, this is not what the buildings look like, even though that's uh, what the buildings look like. The International Atomic Energy Agency was established in 57 as a specialized agency of uh, military industrial complex UN to promote the peaceful use of disease factories. At the request of the Japanese government, the, the the scumbag puppet IAEA inspected the plans to release the treated, treated water from the Fukushima number one nuclear power plant. If we address the report, it could cause disinformation to spread further. The disinformation. They decided to counter the claim, noting it was a form of information warfare aimed at undermining the International Atomic Energy Agency's credibility. I don't even know where to start sometimes. They're, they're so evil, I don't think any of them knows what it's like to be a human anymore. Grossi is the very epitome of disinformation. He's actually why the word was created in the first place. International Atomic Energy today admitted there's no such thing as a safe level of radiation and that the allowable radiation standards are based on natural stuff, not man-made. How do you get any more useless than that? And so when you see Grossi, He's the guy with the jack, that guy right there. That's what you got to realize you're looking at. You're looking at an actual demonic demon. China, through its ambassador to Japan, criticized the degenerate, monstrous, hideous, gross, despicable, coward, swine, scumbag, what the hell has he got on his back there, I wonder? A colossal bag or something? I don't know. He's got something there, don't he? Fukushima water is steeped in anti-science. Skepticism over nuclear plant discharge plan must not give way to scaremongering. Wow. They've been discharging radiation many different ways. One of it is through the food table. 14 prefectures, I highlighted them to the left, are growing food in the nuclear wasteland has been banned by 55 countries for a decade. Because, you know, it's a nuclear wasteland. And when they, the, this is the media from Japan put the picture to the right out, harvesting food, rice, and there's a billion pounds a year just in the one prefecture that is surrounded by radioactive prefectures. Here we go, anyway. Hong Kong is so opposed to Japan's plan to release treated water, treated, just rat, friggin' rat to call it treated, for the nuclear plant that is banding seafood products from four of the country's landlocked, 
prefectures. That sounds a bit off, yes? Tachigi, Guma, Nagano, and, and Nagano is brutal, radioactive fallout, and Satama, which have a combined zero kilometers of coastline between them, are among the 10 regions who aquatic products will no longer be welcomed in Japan's or Hong Kong's restaurants. But the food was banned by 55 countries for a decade. Once, restaurants once, Japan begins releasing, well, they've never stopped releasing the radiation. You can't contain it. The buildings are actually melted down. The, the, the fuel pools are gone. And so at the beginning, I showed the videos and pictures and everything else of how the buildings are actually destroyed. Hang on. It's hard to keep up with such evilness all the time, right? We'll get there. So they uh, abandon all these communities because it's like a banana, obviously, right? <laughs> Bear with me, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, here we go, finally. So there's no building left. And that's the mix oxide fuel facility. And you can see where the fuel pools are at the top of the building. They're not even there. So the claim that they're going to begin releasing it is obviously dishonest. And dishonest is nuclear. And when you start looking at all the players that they roll out to convince you otherwise, Caldecott, Helen Caldecott stands out. She's done this interview hundreds of times where she claimed everything was fine. But a uh, independent uh, blog has like a radio show and asked her, did it really look like the building to the left when it, the original picture showed the building to the right? Let me ask you this. Uh, you've said that uh, if the spent fuel pool in number four collapses, that you would evacuate your family from Boston. Do you think we would ever know the truth of what's going on there? And the reason I ask is because we've seen coverage in the uh, national news media here in the United States from ABC News and others that uh, take video cameras in saying that they're being given exclusive access to number four in the removal of the fuel rods, which is said to have begun. Uh, and, and what we see in the, the video being shared here in America is pristine, a pristine interior building. It doesn't look like a building in which the top blew off in a hydrogen explosion. The Japanese are very tidy people and they have by robot control and by human beings removed the debris from the top of building four and it does look pristine. Well, it can't be both of them. You can't you got to build a new building in order to have a top on a building that's already gone. And why did she do hundreds of interviews like that? And her partner in crime, Arnie Gunnarsson, now I, I put the video of Arnie's in the actual fuel pool. And this is the original footage when it, uh, when it zooms out. Take it away, Ernie. Um, the Unit 4 was, um, uh, was damaged twice. It was damaged by, by a st all of the earthquakes that occurred. And it was also uh, damaged by a series of explosions over um, the first week or two of the, of the accident. So the, the, the building is structurally weakened. Now, Tokyo Electric's acknowledged that. They went in. Uh, so he's saying they went, they went in the nuclear meltdown 
and they put structural supports under the fuel pool that don't exist anymore to stop it from collapsing. In, uh, in May and June of last year, this is more than a year ago, and put an enormous number of extra structural supports directly under the fuel pool to keep the bottom of the pool from breaking through. <clears throat> So you got Ernie Gunnarsson saying they put structural supports under the fuel pools at the top of the building that doesn't exist anymore. You got Helen Callicott saying the Japanese are tidy people and it does look like that when it actually looks like this. You got the world media, you got the International Atomic Energy Agency, you got their standards are based on natural, not man-made. And then reactor three is completely gone. The fuel pools are gone. The reactor core is gone. But officially, it's only 2.2 grams, not millions and millions of pounds, which is actually gone. Combined with the fact that the right on Hong Kong's doorstep nuclear plants in China emit higher levels of tritium, this is the gain, the main radioactive element that remains in the Fukushima wastewater. It's clear the science isn't leading the debate. It feels opportunist at best. So let me show you the reality, though, of... I got a couple, two, three, three... Um, Hang on. I'll figure it out. I don't know where I put it. Bear with me. Going to have to do this the other way. Yep, there we go, I think. I missed some one. Hang on. There's always another way. Unfortunately, that's the way we're going this time. Boom shakalak. Yeah, yoink. Okay, here we go. So first, I'm going to show you the plutonium study. Uh, the 144 Beagle dogs were given a single inhalation of uh, plutonium isotopes. The tumors of the lungs, the skeleton, and the liver occurred about three years after the exposure. Bone tumors were found in 93 dogs were the most common cause. And lung tumors in 46 dogs were the second most common, and liver were the third, the last one, in 20 dogs, but were the cause of death in only two dogs, and occurred later than tumors in the bones and lungs. So you had tumors in the bones, lungs, and liver in, in each dog. Tumors in these three organs often occurred in the same animal with competing causes for the deaths. And these findings suggest a similar dose-related biological effects could be expected in humans. And where's the caveat to that again? And And uh, dogs' livers are 50% more effective at filtering the plutonium than a human is. So the humans are 50 times more susceptible to plutonium. But the same Loveless Respiratory Research Institute, Ray, uh, Dr. Raymond Gilmetty, mass puppy killer, had a lot of studies, 94 of them, I read every one of them. And this one really caught my attention when he said, curium isotopes are the major byproducts in the radiated nuclear fuel 
and comprise a significant fraction of the alpha-emitting radionuclide inventories. Well, if they're the biggest major byproduct, then they're the biggest emitters. Although little use is currently made of purified curium sources, it's possible if reprocessing the spent fuel becomes feasible. And so that's another thing to remember. When they're reprocessing the fuel, they have no use for the curium. It's like... Um, but it's a catastrophic isotope. And so the, you know, Donna Ray in England, Sellafield in England, the, the La Hague in France, they hemorrhage the curium isotopes, not just the other ones that we cover m m multiple times. Discussion of circles of alarm is to proliferate it after the disaster. Alarm is, so I, well, like that story is so despicable it's like you're claiming this didn't happen. That a real world impact on residents and farmers, you know, the, a farmer is a mass murderer in Japan, right? Stigma created by the anti nuclear opponents who exaggerated the dangers. I showed you the dangers in the dog studies, right? Yangjiang Nuclear Disease Factory, 200 kilometers from Hong Kong, emits five times the level of treat. And now, See, they're only going to use the word tritium now. Now they're going to use the word cesium. Now they're going to go to tritium. Expected to be released from the Fukushima treated water. So they're saying uh, China's plants release five times more tritium than the total of what happened at Fukushima. Fukushima. See, the official story I showed you at the beginning was 2.2 grams is in the thousand tanks. You might never see that again, but you'll hear tritium constantly. But see, when they tell the cover stories and they change it, and we ca and we we were paying attention, so we caught that. This is what they're referring to, and we showed you that earlier to quantify that assertion. If the world wants to be serious about tackling carbon emissions, then use of nuclear energy is a must. And, and so this is like schizophrenic stuff to throw in there. Kudos then to South Korea, having previously opposed the plan. The government has thrown its weight behind it. Well, the, the previous administration opposed it. This administration, the next day, got their picture taken at the nuclear plant. Has thrown its weight behind, the government has thrown its weight behind the release following publication of the non-regulatory agency known as IAEA, but it's only just part of the military industrial complex known as UN. That's the actual military industrial complex. Jung is a pro-nuclear who said, right, Jung, because I showed you that earlier, Jung, when he was campaigning to be the president, had said Fukushima had no releases whatsoever. There was no meltdowns. And there was a lot of public black backlash over that. People have a short memory, right? The timing the timing of the European Union's decision to terminate the remaining import restrictions. There was no restrictions. They just wanted a certificate to cover their uh, sixes. The certificates are worthless. They're literally worthless. And Japanese food products imposed after seem likely to be coincidental, unlikely to be coincidental, and comes as a welcome vote of confidence. So it's pretty well orchestrated public relations scam, wasn't it? Because did, you got you got South Korea, Taiwan, China acting as the tritium. Oh, you can't release tritium to the water, and you got Japan being J degenerate Japan, right? And the IAEA is there to, to bring it all together. Local opposition plan is understandable. Residents have suffered both from the radiation releases, which for all of the story, except for that one sentence, they said didn't happen. And from the stigma, stigma. And they got all the media worldwide on their side. They got all the universities to tell the same lie. And so we got nothing left. We can't have a future, see? They're not doing it because it's harmless. 
They're not pretending they're in a building that don't exist because it's harmless. The world media is not perpetrating that law because it's harmless. We're in real trouble. The international community should consider to monitor the water release as the IAEA intends to do, which is not the international community, it's the military industrial complex, according to Eisenhower, and according to anybody with a brain, because there's 195 militaries. Skepticism is one thing, scaremongering is another. Right, so invoking the word scaremongering, this is, and this is desperation is what we're seeing in these stories tonight, is proof of desperation. Just as discussions around vaccines, think about the statement, currently threaten to do, our fear of radiation long since left the realm of logical. Really? I never noticed. In Japan, downplaying the dangers of Fukushima water posed to human health, reads one headline. Gee, I don't know, let me see. They're saying they're in a building that don't exist. Yeah, m maybe. Understandable as such concerns might be, we must stick to the facts. The release is consistent, but we must stick to the facts. They're, like being told, here's the media telling you what to think. The release is consistent with the relevant international safety standards, the relevant, which is a, an organization by UN, which has uh, hundreds of these companies taking over every facet of your life of everybody worldwide has to ask United Nations permit for permission and they have no sovereignty over any country. It's a total takeover of the planet. George W. Bush, when he talked about United Nations, he had a unique way of referring to them. At 195 militaries, and that's quite the powerful weapon, 195 militaries. And so George Bush Sr., the creature from hell, we have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. So, UN, calling UN the new world order, concluded the International Atomic Energy Agency will have a negligible radiological impact on people and environment. <clears throat> and then our research expeditions clearly show that's not true. The science at question here is settled. Think about this statement now. The science at question is settled. Tritium poses very little risk to human health and the quantities being discussed which will be lower than before the accident occurred. So now that we had a nuclear meltdowns, there will be less radiation than it was before the nuclear meltdowns. That's not stupid, that's just crazy. which will be lower than before the meltdowns. It's why tritium is routinely released from nuclear plants. It's routinely released from nuclear plants because you can't contain it. <coughs> you can't contain it. It seeps out of all the seals, all the pipes themselves. It seeps out of the cements. You actually can't contain it. And that's why it should never exist. It's got a 120-year life and is catastrophic to everything with replicating cells. 
And because it comes in the form of water, it assimilates into everything. It's uptake by plants immediately. And it, radiate, it, it radiates the pollen and the plants. Given a little public knows about it, which to them they think is like a banana and a potato chip and walking in the sunshine. Around nuclear power works in general. That's a pretty bold statement, isn't it? There seems a need for a comprehensive campaign to boost awareness. So he's calling for a massive public relation campaign to drown out any dissent. For all the concern back in 2011, the United Nations Scientific Committee on the Effects of Atomic Radiation in 2015 concluded the main effect of the Japanese public from the Fukushima disaster was on mental health. Was on mental health. This was they're saying international atomic energy, right? We should all be ashamed of ourselves. In uh, 2012, the death rates might give the creeps to some people. Extreme increase in mortality, and not mental health. Even though mental health is real, because after every nuclear event, release, major release, nine months later, they're going to check newborn babies for Down syndrome and autism. And they get schizophrenia. So the number of deaths was up 12.5% compared to the same month of the year before. Increases in cancers, and there was actually, as I showed you earlier, 865,000 extra cancers in the first year. There was a study done on congenital heart disease operations, rose 14% per 100,000, which is 14.2% which is 100,000 or 14,200 babies, neonates and infants needed open heart surgeries for con because of congenital malformation. So for them to claim there was no adverse side effects, I can't, um, I can't handle that kind of evil at all. They make a living by being as evil as they can. Saying the main effects was on mental health. health. Um, thyroid tumors, which, you know, there's 1,800 diseases, for goodness sakes. Presenting nuclear is a uniquely dangerous option at a time when it's never been more important to combat climate change. Cli by the way, climate change has caused by 80 years of radiation emissions into the environment, Fukushima was a pulse event. This is important. Let me, let me just introduce you to the, this madness. So you get these radioactive plumes. This model, the whole planet is covered um, in 19.5 days, 468 hours. It didn't stop. It's, it's a continuous plume. It's still coming out. In order to have a continuous plume, it never stops coming out, right? And so the plume is pulsing energy at the speed of light. Think of a snowstorm covering the entire planet after 19.5 days, after, f and the snow never melts. So instead of the snow not melting, think about the snowflakes are invisible. They're radiation, and they're pulsing energy at the speed of light every second. But you got gammas, alphas, neutrons, and betas. And so all of these snowflakes, you know how close they are to each other? Which makes them more insidious. And you've seen the studies of uh, 220 million atoms of just the 129 alone, right? I can show you the xenon studies, you know, of the actual fallout of many, many different types of isotopes. And in, in huge quantities per liter. So you get this invisible snowstorm of radiation. You can't see it or smell it or hear it or taste it or feel it or pick it up or perceive it. It's pulsing energy every second. This is at the speed of light. It does it every second. Each one of these pulses energy at the speed of light. 
every second for their life. And some of them are millions and tens of millions of years, right? And because it came from a chain reaction, the, the mantra of if it's got a long half-life, it has less energy, that's only true for natural stuff. That's not true for anthropogenic man-made. This is why we got terrorism laws. This is why we call things dirty bombs. They pulse energy f for their lifespans. They're artificially changed. This is why we call them anthropogenic, man-made isotopes, because they're man-made. The, the sun doesn't produce them, right? And it kills the bacteria and the fungus in the, in the fields and the bushes and in the forest. And that destroys the ecosystem, so the foliage and the litter doesn't break down because it doesn't have the biota anymore. The rain doesn't soak up into the ground anymore because you don't have the biota to absorb the rain in order to break down all the vegetation, the litter, and foliage because the radiation destroyed the ecosystem. And it doesn't in increments, and 80 years later, with uh, 12 years straight now from a massive pulse, from a, a catastrophic event, the, the biggest we've ever seen in history. Uh, you know, eight fuel pools confirmed. They're, they're going to lie to you, but I showed you documentation of three and four, and I can assure you it's true for one and two. And it's pretty easy to prove uh, the common spent fuel pool on top of that. And everything was stuffed with reactor cores because they don't have a repository anywhere, let alone Japan. That, and that's not an accident because they're all hemorrhaging radiation in visible plumes into the environment every single day. This is why the majority of them are surrounded by farms. And so this is global warming. And so when you dry out the earth, now the rain doesn't get soaked up in the earth, it runs off the earth. By and by you get a lightning strikes, the foliage didn't break down, and so you have these massive um, embers that'll float up because the litter didn't break down, it's not supposed to exist. Jeroyal Wrighty is a Bloomberg opinion columnist covering Japan. I scoured the internet looking for, and look at his keywords, agricultural. Piece of shit. And there he is. He's Irish, I believe. It's a disgusting, despicable parasite is what he actually is. That was the only picture I can find of the despicable little creature. He holds a bachelor degree from Shit for Brains Dublin City University and a master's degree from the University of Sheffield. And if he wasn't doing this, he'd be out, he'd be a serial killer. And that's what he turned out to be. He's an even, even more serial killer than he could have been. He's too cowardly to do it on his own. He has to do it through a pen. What a disgusting maggot to put his name on something like that. What a revolting, what a hideous monster. Fukushima water opposition is steeped in anti-science. Scaremongering. This is Japan Times again. They want everybody to shut up. The science is settled. It will be lower than before the accident even occurred. People like this should be jailed for 50 years right away. And then they got to prove that they're somehow human after that. And unfortunately, this is true for the nuclear industry. You know, dozens of administrations in the United Kingdom still refuse to acknowledge that the veterans who were nuked were nuked. And the majority of them are like in their late 80s that are left. And they still won't give them any help. Just cruel. Administration after administration after administration cut their throats. And then you have Veterans Day each year and they celebrate them. <laughs> They're like on a whole different level of evil. That's nuclear. And coward. The, the, the average pro-nuclear is literally the worst coward I've ever seen. I've never seen something as cowardly as I did when it comes to the pro-nuclear.
If there's a group of pro-nuclear walking down the road and a car goes by and backfires, every one of them will defecate in their pants and they'll all reach in, they'll smear each other with that because they figure the anti-nuclear is coming to get them, see? It's, honest to God, it's been recorded. We got video proof of it. <clears throat> I can show it to you right now, but it's gross, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Nuclear veterans who blood records are mysteriously missing from United Kingdom. Nah, I wouldn't do that. They love you too much. Heroes of the Cold War and the British Cold War. Heroes. Yeah. They had to go out there and radiate everybody at Christmas Island. They got them really good, too. Now, they used to call the babies, they used to call the babies after the day jelly babies, by the way. So Britain was like, we got that solved. Let's go over to uh, the Australians. <clears throat> They're not supposed to exist in Australia. We sent them to sea to die, not to survive and thrive. So they went to Australia. They set off 700 dirty bombs. 700 conventional explosives around fission canisters of uranium, plutonium fission products. 700 plus. We're talking huge numbers. Some of, you know, like some of these were 50, 60, 70 kilograms. Um, they waited, when they done the nuclear testing, the big bombs, they waited for the winds to blow across Australia before they set off the nuclear uh, weapons. There was one bomb that was recorded uh, in Adelaide, 1,200 miles away from Monticello, Montebello. And uh, it was um, 92,000 counts per minute. There was a study done there uh, in, the, in the 90s of 22,000 children uh, where they took uh, femur bones from the dead children without telling the parents and tested it, incinerated it, and sniffed the air for isotopes. And they found isotopes, in every, serious harmful isotopes in every one of them. And then it came out what they'd done. The Australia, man, uh, that's some evil shit. You gotta be some seriously sick. And they're doing it for a paycheck. You don't think they'll cut your throat after generations of that kind of routine? the inbreeding we're talking about. The mirror revealed last week more than 200 pages of evidence about blood and urine being collected from servicemen, analyzed and withheld from their official medical records. And a liberal Democrat peer said, the veterans have an absolute right to access to test results. The nuclear industry is like, no, no, you don't call the shots. The average age of the veterans is 86. So over 60 years, well, 70 years now, they refuse to admit that they might have got a bit of radiation. Administration after administration after administration cut their throats, the veterans' throats. And they all got pensions themselves, of course. Asked if the government was monitoring areas United Kingdom used for weapons testing over environmental damages caused by nuclear fallout, she said only that there would be a metal for those who um, took part in the trials into the, into the slaughter. This Baroness uh, Neville Rolfe did not answer many of the specific questions. Nuke blood scandal. In 2012, Lord Robethon was accused of misleading the House of Commons when he wrongly described the Supreme Court judgment as having found no casual link between radiation and illnesses suffered by veterans. In fact, the court never heard any evidence and the case was thrown out for having been brought too late. 
So it's never too late for a murder trial. Why is it too late for a murder trial? China's blanket radiation testing, but they're only going to check for tritium. They're not going to check for anything else. <laughs> they're only going to check for tritium from now on. Not gonna check for anything else. <laughs> the the new the new scam is uh, give it a couple of years and be like, what nuclear accident? What are you talking about Fukushima? You fear monger and we're gonna censor you off the net, you fear monger. The news comes ahead of Japan's plan. Japan's plan. I'm afraid, I'm afraid to click on anything. I have to clean my glasses. Here. To begin, in response to the planned release, the plan release, kind of a bit uh, late to plan. Twelve years ago, you covered the entire planet with radioactive fallout over and over and over. Uh, like. How does it work, I wonder, because how do you get a job where the only thing you're allowed to do is tell lies? Really, right? Pays a lot of money, good benefits, you got health care, dentists, uh, dental for your family, all included. Uh, and what do you got to do? Well, you got to go and convince people that nothing happened. And that you should eat the radioactive food from the nuclear wasteland and eat the radioactive seafood if they can find it from the ocean. News comes ahead of Japan's plan to begin in response to the plan. That cracks me up. Um, 80 billion yen fund in Japan used to subsidize the local fishing industry's recovery from earthquake, tsunami, and a triple meltdown. There was four meltdowns and eight fuel pools uh, that were lost. At the Fukushima plant, just attempt to buy silence domestically over the water release issue. But see, they, they talk about tritium and treated earlier, right? Full-scale inspections for radiation now taking place at products from 47 prefectures. Uh, the idea is to create an artificial resistance to tritium, not to the thousand other fission products you're supposed to. And when you see popular science come out, you know it's going to get ugly. Japan's plan two, plan two, release, plan two, release, and then treated, of all things, is actually pretty safe, says Andrew the Monster Paul. International regulators say the water is extremely safe. And the country's running out of space to contain the fallout, the fallout. What an interesting thing to say, because they got 30 million one-ton bags of fallout. They're not going to dump that into the ocean, no. They're going to grow food in that. Fallout. Over a million metric tons of radioactive water is currently housed in massive on site metal, metal tanks, enough to fill 500 Lambrex swimmer size poles. Well, we count the tanks, we only got 750, and a third of them are very tiny ones. But authorities need to make room for naturally occurring groundwater. What the frick are we talking about? Popular science. Naturally occurring groundwater. What do you got to mean make room for it? They're going to store naturally occurring groundwater and rain that will continue to become contaminated. Wow. Because when, when it comes to popular mechanics, it's, it's as schizophrenic as it gets. TEPCO is already filtering the water to remove most of its radioactive isotopes. To do it, Contaminated water is passed through multiple standalone chambers, each containing various absorbents to remove specific 
radioactive isotopes. So, this is super interesting, by the way. What you're saying is the ALP system has multiple standalone chambers, and each chamber contains a different absorbent to remove a specific radioactive isotope. This is what they're claiming. Like, if you filter out 2.2 sieverts a liter of water, which is what we're talking about, and they're only acknowledging beta, then you can never get near the filter again. And if you did fill up a tank up with this stuff, you're talking about 1.4 million sieverts. Three sieverts is a lethal dose, by the way. They're talking 2.2 sieverts per liter. You can't filter this out and stand alone, absorb and... So the whole story is so ludicrous, there's so many holes in it. It's hard to imagine we're the only ones having the conversation. But it's really interesting that we got these stories over the last, since yesterday and the day. And uh, there was no show last night. I apologize. I was, uh, we had 105 temperatures, uh, temperature degree Fahrenheit rather here yesterday. I got heat exhaustion, passed out in the chair. And I woke up about quarter to 10 and I was just, not, I wasn't there. The brain wasn't there. And I was like, I gotta do, I gotta do a show. And I like a beard, I got my eyes open. I'm like, Shh, come on, Dana, wake up. You gotta to get a show. And I'm sat there in the chair and my head's hung over and I wake up. My neck is hurting, obviously. And um, all I can think about was going to bed and going to sleep. I couldn't think of anything else, so I apologize. And today was the same thing. It was 105 degrees, but I, I didn't get stupid today and uh, roast myself. Get, getting smarter as I get older. Not much, but I'm getting some. Supporters of the plan argue that humans are exposed to low-level tritium every day via tap water, air, and rain. Supporters of the plan. Supporters. So what a great way to just, just make it up as you're going along. Uh, well, supporters says you, you, you get it every day in your tap water, but you don't. Unless it's from nuclear, in other, in other words, you do. It's man-made, though. It's not natural. It's despicable. It's so despicable, I can't even sum it up. Meanwhile, other disease factories around the world currently release tritiated water into the ocean and rivers at even higher levels than what will come from Fukushima. And we heard this connotation a lot in the last two weeks, like a lot, multiple times every show. Disgusting, despicable, hideous, creep, moron, like can't get a real job. All he can do is stab everybody in the back job. Imagine how pathetic he is. And you typically see this too when he wrote for the Rolling Stones, Slate, and NBC, and a few others. We see that a lot with those uh, particular attributes. Holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in religion. And he's writing about nuclear and, and killing all of uh, the species and humanity by deceiving and manipulating them. It's surreal, isn't it? Google stole the data from millions of people to train their artificial intelligence. For a long time, they stole every book that was published on top of that. They're, they're so evil. Google, don't be evil. Everybody should have that tattooed on them. They do. It's called an android. Yoon sees six-point drop in approval rating after... Now, he's already going downhill. After vouching for Japan's Fukushima water dumping. They haven't stopped dumping us. It's all about what might happen, not about what's been happening for six years or 12 years straight. And it's, it's obviously extremely coordinated. By the way, that's a plutonium-239 dispersal from Fukushima. That's only based on 27 days or... No, the one to your left is 20 days. 
the 31st, and the next one is 22 days. Negative ratings were up 57% on Friday. So now he's got 57% of the country hates his guts. The politics of fear-mongering again. Yes, good old scumbag from North, uh, South Korea is back to haunt us with another one. He's an editorial writer for the, one of the worst medias I've come across. Fear-baiting. Fear-baiting. Because they want to have a nuclear renaissance in South Korea. And so they have to promote nuclear. They can't say anything bad about it. And so the media has been instructed to cut everybody's throat. Cut their throats. Cut them, cut them fucking throats. That's what, that's what they've been instructed to do. The scaremongering... And fear baiting is taking over Korea society of the plan wastewater discharge, which hasn't stopped hemorrhaging. Few Koreans now believe the Pacific will be instantly contaminated, or that CCM fish will soon migrate into the waters off the country after the treated wastewater is released. Uh, the dirty incitement is not working as effectively as before. Man, vicious lawyers, eh? This is a six-year model from a German research institute. Uh, this is just the emissions into the oceans. So they're not acknowledging the airborne uh, radioactive folio plumes. The, the, uh, the media is so evil they think it's natural now to cut your throat. That's natural for them. They're in their natural mode when they cut your throat with these lies. So you, you, you literally and figuratively have no media on the planet, period. A poll showed that 78% of the Koreans were worried about the wastewater. 87% was the actual poll. Absolute belief about what has not happened remains. It hasn't stopped. The, the reactors actually melted down and blew up and blew up and caught fire and blew up and caught fire and blew up. There's nothing left, right? It caught fire and blew up and blew up and caught fire. Not necessarily in that order, but it, you get it. The plume, this plume covers the planet in um, 27, yeah, 27 days. And then they're, they're going to quote Wade Allison, really? Really, guys? You're going to quote Wade Allison? I had produced two full-length presentations on Wade Allison, and the videos got taken down along with my other site when I was out looking for spiders. But uh, the question was, should Wade Allison, who's a professor at Oxford University in the United Kingdom, should the students get their money back and have to be recertified? He's disgusting. He's unbelievable, despicable, disgusting. He says, fear can swallow science. What a horrible creature. Chaos could arise if another gigantic earthquake uh, rattles the area, discharging it into the sea was chosen as a sole plausible solution. The inclusion of a scientific study of the discharge impacts of the marine life, the ecosystem, and humans has already been published. It simply does not affect them. It's simply, think about the way they're framing that particular narrative. In short, we cannot stop the move. Well, because it's been going on straight for 12 years, you disgusting parasite. Hyper-anxiety must be kept at bay. To effectively counter the fear marketing, a reassurance campaign is needed. As two of a serious apologists, well-positioned, calling for a lot of overtime for them and come out and demonize anybody uh, with a descending voice. 
Drinking water from the tanks are just childish performances compared to the seasoned scaremongers. Seasoned scaremongers. So if you say that's blew up, you're a scaremonger. Hate speech. It'll deepen public anxiety about the contaminated water discharge, then fear can swallow science once again. It's hard to comprehend how evil their statements actually are if you're not familiar with the subject. If you're familiar with the subject, it should just absolutely enrage you that somebody would do things like they're doing and call them, and have the arrogance, the hubris, to call themselves medias. And in this story, like, what the hell are we talking about? Japan's nuclear wastewater discharge is encouraged by the United States to destabilize Turkey, says a Turkish scholar. So he's claiming there's nothing got out. So you are up against madness to try to have a conversation. And anybody that's around here regularly is familiar with this, what I call madness. Uh, the Diablo Canyon, can nuclear power really save us from loss, uh, the climate change? The Diablo Canyon nuclear plants impact on marine life, causing the death of millions of organisms, millions of species, rather, underscores the need for a sustainable choices. Additionally, nuclear power is not emissions-free. Activities like uranium extraction, transport, waste management, waste management, emit greenhouse gases. Nuclear is greenhouse gases. It's continuous plumes from the fuel pools. That is greenhouse. Pulsing energy at the speed like gas, oil, and coal emissions don't do that. Carbon makes life. Nuclear destroys life. Redirecting resources from nuclear power to solar. All your energy should go into geothermal. It's everywhere. It's at your fingertips, under everybody's feet. Dungeness B power station could become a site for something that don't exist, known as a small modular reactor. And after 50 years of trying, they still haven't got one. After the last 10 years of just burning burning truckloads of money, they still haven't got nothing. Right, and that's the minister over there, you can tell, like, he, he's, he's got the heart of a rattlesnake. The administration's first ever minister for nuclear, who's not, who's not even a nuclear scientist. <laughs> Don't know nothing about it. You gotta call up the local university. He's gotta call up Jerry Thomas and ask her. What's this like, Jerry? Oh, okay. Thanks, Jerry. You're the best mass murderer Britain ever produced. For the first time in 30 or 40 years, nuclear energy is seen as net positive. What is it? 30 or 40 years? I thought you were a journalist. You can't even get that one right. For the first time since its existence, Nuclear energy is seen as net positive, but it's not. The only people that sees that is the pro-nuclear community that's in government. Nobody else sees that. What are you laughing about? Oh, that's right, that you're actually monsters. That is funny. Eh? <laughs> Department of Energy awards Portmouth decommissioning contract. If it coming from nuclear energy or world nuclear news sites, these are pro-nuclear lobbying groups. What's the point, right? It was interesting though when I seen the picture. It was like, that's farmlands surrounding this place. 
Work will be formed under the contract will include, but not limited to, demolition disposal and related process buildings and remediation of the 80 years of radioactive fallout and dumping in the soil and groundwater. So when you looked up pictures of it, what do you see? Surrounded by farms. And they don't show you that river, do they? Everything runs down to the river. I got to figure out what river that is. And then when you look at the other pictures, look how close the farmers got their farms to the massive disease factory. Why are most nuclear power plants and disease factories like this surrounded by farms? Because that's the easiest way to poison everything and everybody. $5.87 billion. They'll steal every nickel of it. They won't do a friggin' thing. So it has a 3,700 acres. You know how much material they used on this site? Ground breaking for the plant was 1952. Uh, 100,000 short tons, 91 metric tons of structural steel. 14,500 short tons of reinforced steel in cement floors, 600 miles, 1,000 kilometers of processed piping, 1,000 miles, 1,600 kilometers of copper tubing, an additional 1,000 miles of tubing ran to the rest of the plant and into the control rooms, 500,000 cubic yards, 380,000 cubic meters of cement, and support this a separate cement batching plant was constructed at the plant site to serve the contractors. It can produce 200 cubic yards of cement an hour. And in total, it took 70 million man hours for construction. Two railway lines financing for their own work built spurs into the area to haul in building material, heavy equipment, including 22 miles, 35 kilometers of track on site, 25 miles of roads were laid in the plant area, as well as seven mile perimeter road that encircles the plant. So they used the same amount of material you would need for a big city. And everything is bombarded with neutrons. Russia develops a excavator and calls it a robot. I was counting on Russia for a few laughs anyway. Ionizing radiation up to 73 sieverts. A gray is a sievert. And it's supposed to be resistant up to 360 grays. Does anybody actually believe that? The operator will be five kilometers away. <laughs> There's zero possibility that's going to work. Because the nuclear industry made it, see? Explosion of Russia's uh, enrichment facility. This is the biggest one in the world where to make and mix oxide fuel. High SA fuel. And we still don't know the true story, but they admit that over 100 people had to go to the hospital, which means all the communities nearby are incredibly radioactive. I already covered that one. Women defied the odds from Cambodia with nuclear engineering degree. And they talked about the harassment in the, in the Russian nuclear school. And so, yeah, they defied the odds there, right? And now they get to murder as many as you like. Bless their hearts. The largest bombs ever detonated. Well, the biggest bomb was the Soviet Union's 50 megaton, which is equal to 3,800 Nagasaki bombs going off at the one time. So if, three th if Russia and 
and you and NATO, as far as 1900 Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs at each other, is that a nuclear war? See, nuclear testing is a nuclear war. It's the same radioactive fallout, and it's the same result. You destroy the future of all species. Japan and Yahoo News came out with that story from Andrew Paul at um, Popular Mechanics, which is a big platform, right? And this has been gobbled up by a bunch of public relation firms over the last five years. Three times it's been sold or something. And they're prolific in propaganda at Yahoo. And it says the Fukushima nuclear plant is actually pretty safe. Because a lot of children use popular mechanics. And so they're vicious. They're, they're just vicious thugs. Time to close Diablo. Nuclear power is unsafe, unnecessary for California's energy need. They don't actually need Diablo Canyon. And the problem was they didn't even build something to replace it. They had all the money, all the monetary, all the time in the world. They didn't bother building anything. Today, the Central Coast is faced with a 20-year extension of operations at Diablo Disease Factory Canyon Nuclear Plant. It'd be made possible by a rushed and chaotic governmental approval process that is happening now. Yeah, this is um, environmental progress's work. Uh, Michael Schellenberg. Mothers for Peace are doing everything they can to show regulators who are non-regulatory agencies, by the way, and the public, which is asleep at the wheel all day, why an extension of Diablo's license is exactly the wrong thing to do when California needs to accelerate moving to geothermal. Everybody should be mentioning geothermal. Why aren't we doing that? Well, Dana, you don't need gas, oil, or coal, Dana. Can't, you can't have something with no commodities that works for hundreds of years before you need to replace it. Nuclear plant needs 3,000 people. The, the ge uh, geothermal of the same size needs seven or eight. No extensions is necessary. Mothers for Peace, numerous environmental groups, energy experts agree to continue power generation Diablo is not needed in a projected time frame. The plant's continued operation obstructs the development of other actual renewable sources and takes distribution space on the energy grid that is needed right now by renewables. And in China, or Japan, had four gigabytes of renewables offline because they were competing with the couple of nuclear power plants they had running. They can't just switch nuclear on and off, see? Four gigawatts. Canada closed down 750 solar wind farms in Ontario and took the money they had for storage and gave it to Bruce Power which is going to make, you know, storage, which a nuclear power plant, I thought, didn't need any. But it's better than renewables, having proof of concept, ain't it? And Diablo Canyon has 13 identified fault lines nearby. Yeah, but it's nuclear, Dana. We're allowed to be evil. Safety of Japanese food is scientifically proven. Oh my God, man. They're crazy, eh? Hang on. Can't let that one go. I let a lot of things go tonight. I can't let that go. I'm sorry. That offends me. It takes a minute. It's just nuclear. Oh, well, I forgot about that one. This whole story should make you shiver, by the way. I'm going to show it to you. We haven't brought this one up. Japan government promotes the idea you're a racist if you avoid food from the nuclear wasteland. Do you like the picture I paired it with? Isn't that a nice picture? 
Because those two pictures are not supposed to go together, right? One of these pictures, not like the other. Seniors, uh, they even put their name on it. That's how shameless they actually are. This was uh, nine days after the second anniversary, or the first anniversary, March the 20th, 2012. So they never stopped growing food in the nuclear wasteland. And then they, and this, this is the Jap, J Japan Times, which is the biggest media in Japan. A Tokyo senior waging an individual effort to get the elderly people, you know, who worked all their life and retired and trying to live out the remaining days after working like a dog all their life, to eat the rice grown in Fukushima Prefecture to help the farmers. So instead of jailing the farmers for growing food in a nuclear wasteland, they want the seniors to eat it to help the farmers who are struggling with rumors that the crops are radioactive, which of course they are, and to make sure the grain, which you know is radioactive, isn't consumed by more vulnerable younger generations. Just that, just that one paragraph is absurd, that should never exist. But it gets worse. Consumers have shunned the Fukushima rice due to radiation fears from the triple meltdown. There's four reactors and eight fuel pools melted down. The elderly must eat the Fukushima rice, said the Japan Times. And they're calling on the seniors to place orders by fax or online via social networking sites, including Mixie and Facebook. And they got a a number they can call to order rice. One uh, senior citizen home ordered in 1,700 pounds, enough to kill years and years of the elderly. About 700 kilograms were brought by an elderly care facility in Tokyo. But that's only a minute amount compared with the 240,000 tons of rice Yield. It's actually a billion pounds is yield there each year. Well, let me bring in just for what they admitted to, because this is 2012. Lying about this was wasn't organized yet. So 240 tons. They're metric, right? So times 2200. is half a billion pounds. It's actually over a billion. They're the biggest prefecture. They're, they're, the, they're the actual food basket of Japan, or the Asian countries. And there's uh, 14 prefectures where the rice and the food was banned. You're talking about several mil billion pounds. But they continue to grow it, and they were chastising Anybody who wouldn't kill the elderly. There are no regulations obliging restaurants and makers of the rice boxes to list the origin of the rice that they use. And this may lead to children eating the Fukushima rice, he said. So therefore, why don't the elderly who worked all their life and whose potential for health is lower than it is for youths, eat all of the radioactive rice. Well, why eat the radioactive rice? Everybody's going to get sick and you're going to drive health care uh, through the roof. Farmers required to check radiation levels in the rice. Farmers. No incentive to cheat, right? If the levels of the radioactive cesium, they're going to check for cesium, that they can't check for cesium with Geiger counters that don't work, you see that 500 beckles per kilogram, they're banned from selling it. But what they told them was to do fine rice that wasn't so radioactive and mix it in to bring the numbers down, then you can sell it. The next year they changed it to 100 beckles because they had 865,000 extra cancers in the first year. Another reason promoting Fukushima rice is because they're evil. 
So in 2019, now both of these stories have scrubbed from the internet, by the way. Uh, as the fear lingers, Fukushima rice rebounds. A Fukushima prefectural government worker advertises rice from his prefecture in a Tokyo commercial facility in November. Get your deadly rice. Don't get divorced. Feed them Fukushima rice. Shipments of Fukushima rice have rebounded since 2011. Um, the comeback has been driven by solid demand from industrial used rice for products sold at convenience stores and restaurants and hotels. According to the Farm Ministry, industrial use accounted for 65% of the shipment of rice produced in pre Fukushima Prefecture. Well, and so they don't tell you where it came from. No comparable figures are available, though, for pre-disaster periods. High demand for industrial rice is cheap for the taste, one distributor mass murderer said. Industrial rice often carries a domestic label with no mentions of the production area. So, like, how do we ever get to the stage where it's acceptable to poison everybody everywhere? How did how do we ever get that far from the gold? It's a nuclear wasteland, so. Safety of the food is scientifically proven, but it's not. Fukushima water opposition is steeped in anti-science. And disgusting Fukushima plant, or future plant, nuclear plant-wide safety critical system. To date, there have only been two nuclear accidents in history classified as level seven, Chernobyl and Fukushima. I mean, um, Fukushima is 100,000 level sevens. These are the only two major nuclear accidents in 19,000 cumulative reactor years of commercial nuclear power. Every nuclear power plant is hemorrhaging radiation from the fuel pools. Like if you look, and they got the RE kids to bring up Sellafield, by the way, Selfie, I'll just show you that picture, but it's actually surrounded by farms and the ocean. Gary Brasha, I've cut everybody's throat to get my swimming pool and my Christmas bonus, he said. That's a one of the scariest pictures I've seen in a long time right there. Right there, Dana, right there. Keep it over there, Japan. Keep it over there. Bento rice boxes. Saki, keep it over there. Keep it over there. We're going to close down the poll. That's all I got for you tonight. A little slack tonight. I'm still suffering from the heat stroke. We're going to get it tomorrow and all week by the looks of it. Should nuclear power... I'm going to do a shout out. Uh, a good run this week. Should nuclear power be banned for faking the Fukushima Reactor 4 fuel pool? Where is it to? You can't ban it if you can't show it, Dana. I know. I got no excuses. A little slack here tonight. Yeah, bear with me. So, yes, it should be banned, right? Am I right? Hey, who's with me? Should we ban it? Let's ban it. You got 42 votes. Thank you, everybody. Socky sucks. P. Hyde, Richards. Uh, Dana Nasana, good night, everybody. Thank you, everybody. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. Uh, John Curtis.
Port Angeles. Yep, we're on a heat wave, folks. Angel's Place. And of course, everybody, I don't. Maritime Slave. Nobby. Noble. James Lucet. Good night, everybody. And Stephen Young. I was talking to Stephen Young on the, the phone tonight. Because uh, he knows I rarely miss a show. And so I'm just double checking. Uh, Richard. It's always great talking to Stephen. And there's Stephen there, actually. John Shiflet, Tweak. I think like, uh, looks like we're making it. Tanya and everybody I don't I know Colette is probably out there somewhere. Brian S James Shiflet Timothy Martin Darren James Spencer, yeah, we had a, I'm not sure, bear with me. Did I get everybody? Yes, 90 degrees are to right now, it's uh, midnight. Yeah, good night, everybody. Hugs for everybody. Have a great night. Great day tomorrow. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. I'll just double check. Looks good. Dan and Asana. I never say good night to Dan and Asana. The hell, man? How did I miss Dana? That's what I mean, right? Like, you do a shout out and. and you're, you're, everything is scrolling, you're scrolling the whole time. And, and, you, and you shake your head, but you forget to say hi. <laughs> yeah, it's a brutal, brutal temperatures. I don't know if the species are going to survive out there. I'm going to try to get out the weekend. It's so hot, man. It's some absurd for down here out in the Atlantic Ocean, we're on the continental shelf. We're the last piece of land for the migratory birds. They haven't showed up. Uh, all the colonies are failing that we're checking. We've been out 15 trips on the ocean, average of five to seven hours. And we got a couple of colonies in particular, we're checking them because we have no migratory birds have showed up. They, they, they are gone, they have been exterminated. 46 million migratory birds are missing and the media is claiming that everything is hunky-dory. I wonder what their plan is next. 2.2 grams of tritium is the new official story. And if you understood the significance of how ludicrous that statement is, you'd understand why we go to war every day until you learn to yourselves have a great night, great weekend. We'll see everybody on Sunday. So if you make it this far, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Looks like we're in for a rough ride over the weekend. We got barely any views tonight. There's not much I can do about it. I'm doing the best I can. I work like a dog every day. And they got me censored to the point where I don't even exist. 
But um, I don't know how to give up, so that's the only saving grace we got. Have a great night, folks. See you on the next one.